Now, I don't know about you guys, but I think it's become quite apparent that Disney is in a constant downward spiral to the point where Bob Iger and the Disney board will say anything that they have to say to defend themselves and to make themselves appear as if every single release has been extremely successful, such as Elemental, The Little Mermaid, Indiana Jones 5, and just lying through their teeth to really get people into the theater seats and or subscribing to Disney+. Plus. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new new and like this video to see future updates. I'm also on Twitter at Mike01. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support. And let's get right into the subject, shall we? Now, we know that Bob Iger is a very incompetent CEO. He has no idea what he is talking about, nor does he even understand half the franchises that they own. And with Alien Romulus, by the way, coming out in 2024, and how Phoebe Waller-Bridge is reportedly and rumored to be one of the androids called Rook in that movie. I think that already goes to show you that Alien is compromised and is not going to be a good installment by Disney, so embrace yourselves for that too. But moving ahead to what is looming for Disney right now when it comes to a quote-unquote Disney purge and exactly how it's going to deal with a lot of firings, more cutbacks, and more. We're going to be going down to the specifics of what's looming for the rest of 2023 leading into 2024 during its first quarter. Now, as you all know, D23 this year in September is already suffering a major loss because of the cost containment plan that Disney initiated. Bob Iger specifically made the call for that to happen. And so D23 is going to be more of a smaller scale event than usual this year around. However, with Disney currently struggling after Elemental, Galactic Star Cruiser Hotel and that closing, Indy 5, Little Mermaid, and now the upcoming Snow White 2024 film, the Disney board has been making some big and major decisions. One major development is that the Disney board, along with Bob Iger, are about to initiate a Disney purge. A large amount of firings are planned to take place during the fourth quarter of 2023, and again during the first quarter of 24 to reduce costs of paying for employees throughout different sections of Disney. Now, this includes crew being related to upcoming films and TV shows in the works, as well as a large amount of employees related to their Disney parks and more related to the corporate ladder that will also suffer from the significant Disney purge that is going to go into full effect that has been greenlit by Bob Iger and the board after initiating their cost containment plan by spending less and making less. Multiple cast members are also planning to get the boot from multiple franchises. Already, Phoebe Waller-Bridge was fired from seven Disney projects, one of which was the Lando Calrissian series for Disney Plus that is now on board and, of course, wants to completely wipe off their Star Wars slate, as well as the cancellation of multiple Marvel projects, moving ahead to reduce costs further. Now, we already know that the strikes, such as the writer's strike and everything happening with SAG and AFTRA, is not helping anything. Now, I don't know about you guys, but let me just pause here quick. The thing about this that I think just goes to show you that Disney is fully losing control of their, you know, overall vision of what they want to accomplish has a lot to do with these agendas that they have been pushing that has actually driven fans away and how fans want nothing to do with the Disney parks at all anymore, especially people in Florida, and how everyone is turning to Universal. And must I add, a lot of you guys, thank you so very much, by the way, have been reporting back to me below in the comments. By the way, if you guys want to partake in that too, if you are new here, please do so. A lot of people that I have been communicating with have really just told me that they have been canceling their trips, that they have been altering their plans, of booking specific trips for 2024 and or later this year and are switching to Universal or Las Vegas or going overseas or going on different cruises, people are abandoning Disney vacations. There's no other way to go about saying this. People are literally saying, off with Disney, I'm going to do something else. And you know what, guys? It's better off. You're better off doing that. It's more cost effective. It's more fun. I think people are going to have a better experience theme park wise at Universal or a better experience going to, for example, like Las Vegas or a cruise line, if you will, be a carnival or Royal Caribbean, whatever it may be. But when you look at stuff like this, right? 
about how Disney is initiating this cost containment plan and how it is going to initiate yet another Disney purge, more firings on the horizon, lower cast and crew for upcoming small-scale focus movies and TV shows now this time around, I think it just goes to show you that Disney is slowly but surely dying. It is a slow burn, it's a slow train wreck, as I like to call it, and it's going to derail eventually, I believe, come 2026 at this rate, maybe even before then. It really is all highly dependent on how bad Snow White 2024 is really going to be, let's be real here. So moving onwards, all right, to the next thing here, Disney already, of course, views both Paramount and Skydance as a major competitor and are trying to actually up their game by making fewer projects moving onwards and focusing more on quality-driven films and shows for different franchises by making less. The Disney board is also getting ready to completely cut down and limit the budgets of many Disney slash Lucasfilm projects moving onwards, which will cheapen production also by lessening the amount of cast and crew for said projects and installments by making storylines more small scale. Disney, of course, is best described to be already anticipating more cutbacks for films and TV shows for anything 2023 and beyond. Guys, I would not be surprised if this Ray movie never sees the light of day. And by the way, who in the world was ever asking for a Ray Skywalker Star Wars movie? Let's be real. Nobody. And for those of you that are looking forward to that, look, that's okay. You have your own, you know, things that you look forward to and all, and I understand that. But really, nobody is looking forward to a race-centered film. This is exactly why the Galactic Star Cruiser Hotel shut down. It had nothing to do with anything else. It was all because it was so ridiculously expensive, and it was centered on the sequel trilogy, more or less, I should add. And that's also why Galaxy's Edge, by the way, is not really getting as much foot traffic as it, as it should, because it's all sequel trilogy focused. What it really should have been was it should have actually been focused on all different eras of Star Wars. You don't need to make it one whole land to make it cohesive. You can just divide things up in order to make things make sense. Maybe have one land focused on the originals, another land focused on the prequels, another section on the sequels that they really had to go that far. That's what Galaxy's Edge should have been. It should have literally been about exploring different eras of Star Wars, but the fact that they focus strictly on sequel trilogy stuff, at least for the hotel, that's why it failed and that's why it's closing. Bob Iger never gave us a full-on apology about that closing. All he did say was that we're taking our failures and we are applying it to our other visions. And he's said that about his films, he said that about all the other TV shows that have come to fail, such as She-Hulk, and even, of course, on a different degree, such as Mrs. Marvel. So, guys, I would really like to hear your take on everything Disney, this upcoming purge, further cutbacks, small-scale focused movies and TV shows becoming the norm, and more. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel, and I will catch you guys next time.